Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to Living on the Farm. Uh, this week we were finishing up harvest and uh, we're getting an auger set up to put the rest of the beans in the bin so we couldn't really talk you through step by step how that works so we just kind of shot some video and decided to do a voiceover on top of it. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to see us get this auger set where it needs to be. So we filled up the bin on the right side and uh, here Mark's starting to lower down the auger. Uh, we, we take it all the way down when we drive off with it just because it's so long and uh, the wind can really shake it around a lot or if the ground's unlevel. It's pretty unsafe to be driving around with it all the way up. So he'll pull up slowly and let it down a little and then pull up some more and let it down and it's just the safest way to handle the auger whenever we're moving it around. These bins used to have ladders on them and uh, luckily a couple years ago Harold and Mark decided to put stairs on them and it makes it a lot easier to get up there uh, but still to get to the top to take the lid off you gotta climb a little ladder and shimmy around the ring. It's, if you're scared of heights it's not the easiest thing to do but uh, somebody's got to do it and I'm the youngest so I guess it's my turn. It's really hard to judge distance from the seat of the tractor so we always have somebody watching the end of the auger uh, as we're backing it up to the bin because it's it's really hard to judge distance and you don't want to raise it up too early and uh, you for sure don't want to raise it up too late so somebody always is on the bin telling the guy on the tractor how close he is when he needs to raise it up and uh, try to get him lined up with the uh, center of the hole on the top of the bin. When we set the auger, it can be a lot of trial and error because when we let the hopper down that we unload the trucks into, it usually kicks the end of the auger over the grain bin. It kicks it over probably at least a foot. So you got you kind of got to judge your distance on how far to the right you want to put it and uh, account for the hopper coming down. And uh, this time we got it on the first try and everything went pretty good. We usually put this rope on the end of the auger up, up at the end just to keep the wind from 
making it blow left to right too much. Uh, it, it helps a lot just to keep our stream going straight down the center of the bin. And uh, you might notice our auger's a little customized there on the end. That's a bucket with the hole cut out of the bottom of it. And we use that just to funnel our grain a little straighter into the bin. It can separate a little too much before it gets through the, the hole in the bin. And we have spreaders in our uh, grain bins that spread the grain out as it comes in so that it, it kind of levels it as it comes in. So we try to direct that stream of grain right onto the spreader where we'll get a nice even flow. Uh, across the bin and hopefully not pile up on one side too much. So here we've got the auger set up and uh, ready to roll. And uh, this is the other bin that we just got done filling just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in there. That's a bin full of beans uh, done for the year. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Living on the Farm and be sure to like and subscribe our page. We'll catch you next week.